We all pray for the safety of the brave men and women of the military. After all, they put their lives on the line for this country every single day. But wait until you see some of the people that are building parts right here at home for their armored vehicles. Problem solver Rob Olchek joins us now with a busted on the job investigation. Rob? Maria Monica, there's a plant in Detroit called Tower Defense and Aerospace. The name itself gives you an idea what they do inside, but it's what we caught them doing outside during their lunch break that will shock you. It's time to party. It's time to party. This is a factory in Detroit. Here's what they make parts for in the factory. And these are some of the people who work in the factory. You already got two felonies, man. I know you're a pothead. That's you, though, right? Yeah, that's me. Well, you're not supposed to be drinking on your lunch break, are you? While our military is fighting for their lives and our freedom, these guys are fighting for their right to party. What do you do inside there? Oh, rock ice, throwing up gang signs. <laughs> The name of this place is Tower Defense and Aerospace. It used to be called W Industries, and some employee badges still have the W logo on them. About 10 years ago, W Industries got their first defense contract, and by 2009, their revenue was $90 million a year. Just last year, the New York Times did an article on them. They're making parts for Humvees and Stryker vehicles destined for Afghanistan and Iraq. Here's a Humvee. Here's a Stryker. Here's one of the guys who works at the factory on his lunch break. The Times article also says the factory on Hoover and 8 Mile builds steel molds that will be used to make 70-foot-long roof sections of Airbus A350 passenger jets. You've heard of that plane. Supposed to hold 350 travelers. Looks like this plant worker's taking a trip of his own. Earlier this year, Tower International, a public company, took over the plant. It's 12 noon, and the day shift files out for lunch. Most of these guys head off for meals. Some head off for the Hoover Market right up the street. Some buy grub, some smoke bud. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy, a Yankee Doodle Do or Die. Day after day, it was a party in the parking lot, out in the open, within sight of the factory. The factory where they make parts for armored vehicles for our soldiers and Marines. And these guys got their own arsenal. They're smoking blunts. A blunt is a big joint made out of a little cigar you can buy inside the store. The guys dump out the tobacco. Wow. Then fill the already rolled shell with their own special blend. It's a lot easier than rolling a joint as this tower defense worker demonstrates. Their job postings say Tower Defense and Aerospace in Detroit promotes a drug and alcohol-free workplace. And I can understand why. Besides making parts for planes and military vehicles, working with heavy machinery is dangerous. This guy drives a Hilo in the plant. That's you, though, right? Yeah, that's me. Well, you're not supposed to be drinking on your lunch break, are you? I ain't drinking. I'm eating. Okay, but you were. About to work. Nah, this is during lunch break, man. I've seen you down there. Then there's this guy, all smiles, coming back from lunch. But he's not smiling now. Don't you go over to that party store all the time, smoke weed? Smoke what? Smoke weed during lunch? Why do I got a camera on my face? Because I've seen you smoking weed over there during your lunch hour. How you know I'm smoking weed? I can smell the weed, man. I got video of you. Get out of my face. And him? He's a welder. At least that's his occupation, according to the Michigan Department of Corrections. Probably learned how to weld at the chop shop he ran, which led to his first felony conviction. His last conviction came when cops found pot, scales, and cash in his house. You already got two felonies, man. I know you're a pothead. You think it's safe? You think it's, you're paying respect to the military, building their stuff while you're all high like that? But it's not like all these guys are criminals and bad guys. These two got the good book and some good times. Hallelujah. Tower Defense respectfully declined an offer to view footage of the employees before this story aired. They say they're aware of the issue and have an ongoing investigation of their own. Anthony Ewing from Tower says they take this very seriously. Well, Rob, what's the reaction been from the Pentagon to this story? 
Well, as a matter of fact, I've contacted Senator Carl Levin's office, and they will be watching this story. Senator Levin is the chairman of the Armed Services Committee. Remember, since this company is a subcontractor building things for the United States military, ultimately, your tax dollars are paying these guys. We deserve better, and so do our brave troops. I can imagine there's going to be a lot of reaction mm -hmm. coming in tonight and tomorrow. We'll keep following the developments with you. Thank you, Rob. All right. Thanks, Rob.